princess. Hi. Hello, Anton. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Can you say good morning? Suki, good morning, baby. You saying good morning? Yeah? Mm. Good morning. I did a bow today. I didn't do anything particularly Halloween-y, but um, sometimes sweet can be creepy. So maybe let's play off of that. I don't know. I got to figure out something that would be a little more Halloween. Like, what can I wear that would, like, make it look a little spookier? Like, if I had, like a spider web net necklace or I don't know skull earrings I do have skull earrings but I have to be careful because I have sensitivity to certain metals but you know anyway I don't know I gotta think about it that is the bedroom water silly <sighs> that's for when she wakes up in the middle of the night but she just she does what she does anyway I hope you're having an amazing morning. I'm sorry I ended yesterday on such a downer. It just kind of got me thinking, you know? Hold on, I'm gonna finish. wait for her to finish. You good? You done? Done, Suki? You good? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> sorry about the downer. It's just sometimes, you know, you hear things and you get kind of thinking about stuff and you just want to share and I hope if nothing uh, else I helped some people reflect and find the light at the end of the storm because you know these storms are hard and grief and struggle isn't linear these things come in waves like a storm on the water Anyway, uh, I hope you're having an amazing day so far. The fit is boring, but uh, it's still cute, simple. I don't know. I got to figure out a way to jazz up some of my looks. I mean, the bow, very cute, but, you know, sometimes, I don't know. I'll figure it out, I'm sure. Usually it's the shoes that kind of take it up a notch, but uh, I have the perfect shoes. All right, when I show you the fit, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But anyway... Today is a gorgeous Monday. I have work Tuesday and Wednesday and then off until Halloween, which I'm very excited about. Uh, Wednesday is a double header. I have a shoot in the morning and then a shoot in the afternoon. I don't think I've ever done anything. I've never done anything like that. So that should be interesting. I'm excited though. It's just going to be fun. Um, especially like I love, I love working there. Like it is such a difference. It just makes me so happy and I just enjoy it so much and I'm learning so much and the people are amazing and yeah, it's it's been really great. So if you're looking for a way out, there's always a way out and there's always something better. There is always another opportunity. So take that lesson. <laughs> but yeah, I am going to, well, Suki went out already with Sean because it was cold. But I think I'll take her out for another longer walk because I like to get my steps in and uh, then warm up with matcha. And hopefully we can go pumpkin picking today because it hasn't rained and the sun is out. I mean, it's a high of 61, so it's not that warm, but it should still be cute. Anyway, that's what we're thinking. I definitely want to bake. I have all the ingredients to make a pumpkin pie, to make those skull strawberry pies, um, and obviously I can make an apple pie as well because I still have those apples that I need to make into a pie. But yeah, so that's what's going on. Anyway, I'll talk with you later. And now it's later. And do you see what I mean about the boots? I don't know. Do they cut me off at a weird place? Oh, I think they're kind of cute. What do you think? Is it a good look? I don't know. Now I don't know. Ah! <laughs> do you want to take a walk? Good girl.
happy Monday. <laughs> um, my hair looks amazing and I'm so happy because this is the time. Aside from when it's raining, like when it's sunny, it's like just in its prime. But anyway, Suki and I are obviously on our walk. Um, it is so beautiful. I have been singing again. Um, and it's so nice to have found my voice once again. It's been years since I sung, so it's nice to have that back. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on here. Anyway, Suki and I are taking a walk, then it's matcha time and I'll check in later. I feel like I've been waiting all day for this. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's cozy. Took a walk without a jacket. It wasn't terrible. Honestly, actually, I, I did the whole walk without a jacket. Like, I didn't come back early. Like, I did the whole thing. It was good. Mm. You know, I really do want to make something. Like, I want to bake something. And I'm really tempted to make the... Um, the skulls, but like, I don't want them to just, I mean, I could make them. I mean, they're so easy. They're so easy. So is pumpkin pie. Could do that. <laughs> what should I do? And the pumpkin bread. Mm, mm. The only thing you haven't seen me bake yet is are those skulls which I think would be really fun to have ready for the weekend because, you know, we have the Halloween parties to go to. I could do that on Friday, maybe. I need to think about it. <laughs> I don't know. And then I also have an announcement of where I'm going in November, which by the way, I leave in 11 days wild wild so it's very exciting i am so excited i just uh i gotta figure out when i'm gonna make that announcement and uh also what i'm gonna wear so i'm just very excited but anyway i'm gonna enjoy my matcha and i will check in with you later okay before i go to bed i just wanted to show you how cute i am one more time because i love the way my hair turned out with the bow but I'm getting ready for bed. And what I'd like to do is I would love to share with you my evening skincare routine. So stay tuned. Okay, so like I said, excuse the chaos of my hair. Um, we're gonna put our little kitty ears on. This is, in case you're wondering what those electricians saw when I answered the door, it was this. So I already washed my face and I don't like to dry it with a paper towel. What I'll do is I'll fan it. And what I noticed actually is when I use warm water or hot water and let my face steam, and then I dry it with the fan, um, I don't get pimples. And that's worked for me through high school. I used to have really bad pimples, but like hot water, the steam, and then drying it like with a fan like not with a towel like air drying it made such a huge difference in my skin and in you know not having any pimples it's incredible so i started using agency which has um trentinoin trentin oil in it this is a 0.01 percent it's the lowest you can have i'm gonna take my ring off so i can do it all um it's the lowest amount of tretinoid you can have 
um, before you start to increase, but your skin has to get used to it. First thing I actually do is eye drops because I have very dry eyes. So I like to do, and I forget to do it during the day. So I like to do eye drops before bed and eye drops when I wake up. But yeah, um, and then after the eye drops, then I'll put my tretinoid in because my skin is nice and clean. So I get it from agency because I don't have very good insurance now that I'm no longer a teacher. Um, and they provide me with a dermatologist and with the tretinoid. Um, there's also like a, a quiz that you take so they know exactly what kind of formula, aside from the tretinoid, um, goes into it. Um, I don't know if I've noticed much of a difference. What I do is here on my eyelids, I tap it in because the skin there is a lot more sensitive. Um, and yeah, it's a lot more sensitive and it burns even if you don't uh, if you rub it in. So I just tap it in everywhere I don't want wrinkles and everywhere I want the skin to continue to produce collagen. Um, sometimes I'll just do it a few times. Here. Here is like really important for me. Here and here especially. Um, but I also like make sure I have it. Um, and then... I always do the neck. What goes on my face also goes on my neck. And I just kind of let that settle until I no longer feel it on my face. Like it's like not, not sticky, not smooth, just like absorbed. It takes about a minute or so. From there, I use, it's called Corsex. It's Advanced Snail Radiance Dual Essence. So it has both a niacinamide and a snail essence. And what that does is it plumps up the skin and the niacinamide helps with the pores. Um, it's kind of, but I also just tap it in because rubbing it in, because the area is very sensitive, it hurts and you don't want to irritate that skin anymore. So we tap it in there. Everyone else gets rubbed in. <laughs> it looks really harsh how I'm doing it, but that's just, you know, I like to get it in there. And then of course, like I said, what I do on my face, I do on my neck. And anything extra, just the tops of my hands. The last thing I started using, so I was using um, the Beauty Wake Up by Pacifica, but I found it to be still a little too harsh on my most sensitive areas. Um, so I started using, I, I used to use this all the time. It's a vitamin E, fruit of the earth. Um, it moisturizes, soothes, and protects. Um, it does have mineral oil, and for some people who have very sensitive skin, um, who break out easily, it's not ideal. But for me, it does exactly what I need it to do. It seals in the moisture that I just put in, but it also, um, for the skin that's very sensitive, like my under eyes and the eyelids themselves, um, it, it, it doesn't burn it. It actually helps it, uh, and it doesn't, um, dry, like, the tretinoid dries out your skin like you wouldn't believe. This seals it in. It's essentially one step away from being straight up Vaseline, 
but listen, it works. All right. It works. And when you wake up in the morning, it's like new skin, like you wouldn't believe. And I rub it in until I can't feel it anymore. And of course, on the neck. There's one more thing that I use. Um, aside from, <laughs> here's the thing about the um, collagen as well. I think the collagen has also helped the my skin and my hair, including the hair on my eyebrows, grow in thicker. But I also think this vitamin E helps with this with the hair growth as well. I can't explain it, but since I started using it, I've noticed a huge difference, even in like my eyebrows but anyway um i don't know if you remember me mentioning it but i just started upping my collagen scoops to two scoops uh i just want to see if that makes a difference we'll see the last thing i do i actually do use vaseline and if my eyelids are being extra sensitive like they burn they don't really right now um my skin has gotten very used to um, the tretinoid. So I think like I'll be able to step up my percentage pretty soon, which is good because then, you know, it, then it's more powerful. Aside from doing it there, right, and soothing that skin, I put on huge globs here and here and like huge, like like you cannot kiss anyone after you put this on because <laughs> it's thick, but it like, that's how, that's what you need. And you wake up and you see the way I wake up every morning. <laughs> I always take like a filterless picture, say good morning. Um, and that's, that's what you see. Uh, and it's because of this routine, but yeah, that's, that's essentially, that's it. It's nothing it's nothing crazy. Um, it's pretty basic. Uh, if you need, I'll put the, I'll put all the products that I use in the, um, description. So, you know, it's most of it's very cheap. <laughs> the core six is a little more expensive. This obviously is like, I would say like 80 bucks a month, which is pretty expensive. Um, but that's cause I don't have a dermatologist. Like I don't have very good, I don't have very good insurance. So if you have great insurance, you you can get tretinoid for very, very cheap, probably almost for free in some cases. I do not have good insurance because I'm paying bare minimum to survive. But yeah, that's essentially it. And then I wash my hands. Um, but only the, t the, palms I leave whatever I put on them on the top on there because that's that's where you need to have moisture your palms don't really need it in my experience I don't really do that but yeah that's it and that is my nighttime routine I I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you t were able to take something away from that I am going to go to bed which is why I have my nightgown on and uh yeah I will I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, like I said, if you have any questions about my nighttime routine, just let me know and I'll go through everything. But yeah, <sighs> today was actually really nice. I did not do much of anything, which is good. You know that you should have some days and not feel guilty about doing absolutely nothing. You really, you absolutely should. Um, and I still feel guilty. And I was like, I need to do something for my episode today. And so here we are, <laughs> my nighttime routine. The catch of having a nighttime routine is I'm ready for bed, but now I have to finish editing this. <laughs> but c'est la vie, mon ami. Anyway, uh, but yeah, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Until next time.